Let's take a look at another type of loop within Python called a for loop. Now this is another one, if you worked inside of other languages, it's gonna look somewhat familiar, perhaps a little bit different, but the concept is the same. Once again, if you haven't done any programming in the past, great, you're in the right spot. We're gonna take a look at a very powerful type of loop called a for loop. Now, the while loop that we saw earlier, we said while a condition, whatever that condition was. In our case, we were just incrementing a numeric value and wanted to continue looping while that value was less than or equal to 10, 20, whatever. It was based on a condition. A for loop is based off of a collection, such as a list, a tuple, a set, a dictionary. It's based on a collection of values. I wanna build a loop through a collection of values, such as a list. I wanna do something for each item in a list. Take a look. So I'm back inside of my Python shell. I've got a new file open. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new list. This will kind of recap what we talked about much, much earlier inside this course. So I'm gonna call this one names. Uh, I'll call it usernames. And I'm gonna make it equal to a list. So I'm just gonna put a few names inside there. We'll say there's Patrick, and there's Joe, and there's Brent, and let's do one more, and there's uh, Martin. All right, there we go, there's my list. And if I could spell names correctly, that would be great. Let's just resize these windows a little. All right, there's my new variable called usernames, and it contains a simple list one, two, three, four items inside that list. So now I wanna build a loop through each of the items within that list. In steps, the for loop. So I'm gonna say for x in usernames. That's what I called that list. All right, so similar syntax in the way that we worked with the while loop, but now we're using a for keyword and then I created this variable called x. x is gonna represent each item in the list. So the first time my loop runs, x in usernames, x will be equal to Patrick, the first item in that list. The next time it runs, x will be equal to Joe, x will be equal to Brent, x will be equal to Martin. Each time it runs, x moves to the next item in the list. All right, let's just do something simple here. I'll say print x. That's all I want to do. Let's save that. So I've got my list there contained inside of usernames variable. And now I'm going to loop for each x in the usernames. Print the x. Save F5. And there we have it. Patrick, Joe, Brent, Martin. It's that simple. Another loop. I want to get something to happen some number of times. But in this case, I'm going to loop through each value inside of a list. Try it out. That's simple. Create a list. You can use a list. You can use a tuple. You can use a set. Whatever. Got a collection in there. And now you can iterate throughout each of the values within that collection. So try this one out.